What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, we're not on my street glide today. We're on the fiber. All right, here we go. It's my backup bike and uh, Harley is in the shop. Uh, I'm bummed waiting on it to get back. But I should have it back in a week or so. In the meantime, it's a chilly Sunday and I needed to go for a ride. So here I am on this bike and I figured what better ride than my old commute down into Bethesda. If you've been paying attention, and I'm sure you have been, right? You remember this road from a couple of weeks ago or a month ago. I don't know. It takes me uh, it takes me quite a bit to figure out what the heck I'm doing around here. But that church ought to look familiar. It was lit up last time. But this time it's daylight out and we're out for a ride. So we're gonna go check out downtown Bethesda. And like I was saying, I gotta get more organized. I just have no idea what I'm doing sometimes. I got like eight videos in my editing software right now and yeah, I don't know what the schedule is for releasing them. Most of them aren't done yet. I got a few scheduled to go up in the next week. And that's about it, man. I'm just trying my best here to stay organized, but I collect more footage than I can edit, so I try to pick and choose the best rides. So I gotta kind of be a future seer, a fortune teller, something like that. I gotta be able to figure out what's gonna happen three weeks or a month from now. Heck, I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. Oh yeah, I didn't eat breakfast today. But anyway, it's a nice day, it's overcast, it's cold, chilly, something. But we're having a good time. We're gonna go out, check out what's going on downtown here, and then hit up some back roads and go home. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, the temperature gauge said it was 60 or 59 degrees, but I think it lies. I think my temperature gauge is faulty at the house. Um, it definitely feels like it's 50. I'm glad I wore my winter gloves because otherwise I'd be freezing and turned around already. Boy, this place is like a ghost town. I'm not used to this. It used to be any time of year, any time of day, you come down here and there's a billion people walking and driving. Yeah, this place is like a ghost town. Man, they do free parking on Sundays, and it used to be you couldn't get a spot. You just It just wasn't gonna happen. Uh, let's see, we gotta go turn around somewhere. There we go. And I'm skipping that big light up there. Yeah, this place is just quiet. So the biggest issue I'm having on this bike, other than getting used to riding it again, because it's been a while, is I've got a Cena headset thing in my helmet and my winter gloves don't want to work the volume and uh, function buttons very well. <laughs> I've scanned through the radio stations four times now trying to switch presets. Oh goodness, that's such is life. But yeah, this bike's running good. You know, this is my first bike. I keep it for sentimental reasons. I bopped it out, which you've seen on the channel before. Uh, but it's it's just a fun little bike to ride. Better suited to city than the highway. You know, it's only an 800 with a five speed. So you hit 65, 70 miles an hour on this bike and she's singing along. Anything faster than that, it's just like, let me go, please. But I really do like this bike. It's a little fun thing and it doesn't owe me anything. So I keep it around. Heck, I think the insurance on it's like $29 a year. I mean, it's ridiculously cheap. It doesn't get ridden much. It ain't worth much. It's worth more to me than some junkyard. So I keep it. This bike has been on these roads down here literally hundreds of times. I commuted down here for like six years on this bike. Uh, yeah, it, it's very familiar with these roads. And these roads are like perfect for it because you get some twists here like right now and there's some straightaways and stuff but generally they're just little back roads and a little light bike like this i guess it's not really light but you know 550 pounds but even still it's lighter than my other bike <laughs> so yeah it, 
it feels like a light bike and this 800 i mean it's bulletproof can't kill it i tried not on purpose but you know i wrecked it once put it back together and it's fine it runs good i parked it right here going uphill with the high beam on right where that sign was there was a maxima with the rear wheel missing and like part of the axle and everything was on it. It was, it was just sheared off. It got hit by a minivan. And I pulled over to render assistance, make sure 911 was called. I'm no doctor or EMP, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that the authorities were on their way to come help out the people in need. So I stopped for about 20 minutes and then realized I left my high beam on. Crap. So I waited about 10 minutes with the bike off and then it had just enough juice to start up very resilient battery i guess and then i rode it to work parked it and sure enough it started right up to go home that night i was pretty impressed and yeah I, I rode it home put it on the tender it was like okay cool i'm happy again yay so this is a love not just a lovely bike i really like these new grips i put on i don't know if you can see them there these are kawasaki oem grips i found on sale some sort of close out and i put them on myself it was a uh, the first time i've done it I had a little weekend time back in March or April and I said, man, my stock grips are just horrible. So let me get some replacements. So I ordered these. I put them on myself. Pretty easy. It's a very rewarding thing to use your hands to work on stuff. At least I find that to be true. Boy, I hope they're getting ready to repay this road. It did not look like this the last time I was on it. My wife is constantly nagging me to get rid of it because you don't need three bikes and i said no i don't but they really don't cost us much and they just take up a little bit of space so i'm keeping it well when i took my harley in for service they said it might be a week or two waiting on parts so i said well sugar so this bike got put in its spot and uh yeah i get to ride it so i've already put about 100 miles on it between yesterday and today having a good old time bike starts up good it is like the best carbureted bike i've ever had or seen it just doesn't it doesn't have any quit in it you know it gets like 600 to a thousand miles a year on it and that's about it and it doesn't really care it's like oh you want to ride today awesome oh you don't want to ride today okay fine i'll wait for you that's just a good bike this was my starter bike it was funny in the msf course they start talking about the clutch friction zone and i'm like uh what's that and they're like don't you drive a stick shift car i was like yeah and they were like well the friction zone where the clutch is partially engaged i was like yeah i don't do that and they're like but you have ridden your bike like 200 miles i was like well yeah and they're like how do you start off and i said well give us some revs dump the clutch and we off you go and they just shook their heads and were like, oh, we got one of those guys. Hey, Christmas decorations. Cool. <laughs> that was kind of a running joke throughout the rest of the MSF course. But luckily I passed, got my license. The next day I got this bike out on the road, put 100 miles on it. Wet, dry, gravel, paved, highway, city street, back road. I covered it all in one day. It was great. <laughs> Whee! I need to add a couple of PSI. It's like 10 degrees colder than it was yesterday. And yeah, I need some more air in these tires. I kind of feel a little squish when I bob it back and forth like this. See that? Yeah. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for coming along on my ride with me. Hopefully you're warmer than I am. Thanks and have a great day. Until I see you again, keep the shiny side up.